Hey everyone, welcome back to the shop. Different color shirt, different day. Let's get back to work on the stop. All right, to begin, the fuselage. I'm not done covering the fuselage. I figured it's time to jump on over to the wings. Uh, the fuselage, there's a couple little internal battles up here between the ears. Uh, that I'm trying to still decide how I want to cover that. Um, and I've even been searching online to see if you can see how a real uh, stop was covered and I can't find anything. So um, I think I know how I want to do it. I just, I'm trying to not have a seam on the top of the rear deck, um, the turtle deck going out to the back. And it's if I don't want to have a seam on the top there, I'm gonna to have to have the fabric end somewhere at the rear, the rear end of the second cockpit, um, and and I really don't want that vertical line. Um, so I'm kind of right now. It looks like it's gonna be a line right down the center, of the top of the turtle deck. Um, it's not what I'm looking for, but I'm still trying to find a way around doing it. Um, I, I think I think I've got a way to get around doing it. I, I just haven't uh, I just haven't locked in. I, I haven't decided that's the way I'm going to do it. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, step away from the fuselage now because I've got to get the wings covered. Um, so I'll give you a quick little walkthrough on how I'm going to do it, and then uh, let's get back to work. All right, the way I'm going to start the wings is we're gonna come in and I'm gonna put this little, and it's, it's about a half inch, it's, it's not quite a half inch, it's closer to three eighths. It's a strip, I went ahead and got it uh, saturated with dope and when it dried, came in with a razor knife and cut it and you can see it's straight, so and there's no tear out on it. This piece is just gonna come in and get laid down in here and then it's gonna wrap up the sides as far as I can get it to go. So, cause I want this cover, this piece covered first, so it's gonna go from, see how well I can show you on this one, we're gonna come from the bottom part of the hinge just down to here all the way across and leave ourselves less than an eighth of an over wrap. So when I come across the bottom, it's gonna come up and over the top and then seal down. So this will all be sealed up. But I decided to go ahead and get it done this way. So these will be done first. I've got four of these things cut, one for the top wing and one for the bottom wing. Sorry, sorry, the top wing, <laughs> bottom wing. It's gonna be a rough day. So I've got four of these things cut, one for the top wing right there and, uh, and one for the bottom wing right here. So let me go ahead and I'll have everything set up through the big camera so that you guys can hopefully get a halfway decent view of what I'm doing. All right, the first thing I did is I came in, I cut off the little fuzzies. There we go, focus. Uh, I cut off the little fuzzies on both ends just so that there's less hassle farther on down the road. And then this here will get centered in and I'm just going to kind of eyeball it here. I just need it close and it's going to sit right about there and I'm going to come in with a little bit of nitrate dope and get, if I can find the brush, and just kind of get it somewhat tacked in the middle of where I want it. All right, and because this has already been saturated uh, with dope, the dope doesn't want to penetrate it that easy. That's why I was working it with my fingers. Now, seeing that I've got it to the point where I want to start there, I can come on in because it's tacked on pretty good in the middle now. I'll come in and I'll just run a little bead of nitrate dope on the bottom and then roll this onto the top of it and then just push it down with my finger. And that's going to give us real good stick. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this one off. And my goal is to get this thing so it's actually touching the bottom of the hinge. Just so uh, I'm going to have good coverage when I paint it. We're not going to have open wood. 
Okay, as the nitrate dope begins to set up, these hinges should start to bind a little bit, but it, they should pop apart pretty easily. Uh, if it doesn't, I'll just come in and put a drop of uh, lacquer thinner in there just to try to get it to loosen up. Now, what I did prior to putting these things in, because it's epoxied on one side and it's going to get epoxied on the other side. What I originally did was I put a, it was a synthetic lubricant uh, that I put on the inside. It's the same stuff that I use in my air guns, my air rifles. Um, and so I, I wick this into there so that way it's not going to, really allow the nitrate dope to fully penetrate in. Um, so this should keep any problems on down the road uh, from, from rearing its ugly head. Because the last thing we want to do is have one of those things seize up and you have to remove it and replace it. So, but uh, like I said, that I got the ones that it's got a pin that goes through it. So if I have to, I can go ahead and grind one end off, pull the pin out, put another uh, pin through there and uh, and everything should be good several days later hey did you miss me i'm back let's do the wings
All right. The wings are only done on, on the bottom, the bottom half of the wings. I, I, instead of getting the top and bottom, I figured instead of completing the bottom wing, because uh, as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, servos put back in again. So um, that I figure I can just do some kind of, sometime during the week, uh, just pop downstairs after work and get those things prepped um, and ready to go to cover the tops. Uh, the first one took me probably about, it was probably about an hour per side of the bottom wing. So it took, so it took me about two hours just to get the bottom of the lower wing covered. It just seemed to keep chasing things down a rabbit hole um, and realized where I could be cutting some valuable time out. So going from two hours just to get the bottom of the first one done, it took me about an hour and 20 minutes to get the top wing, the bottom of the top wing done because I knew... I f discovered ways to, to cut time and it, it helped out immensely. So figure when I'm doing the, the top wings, probably let's just round it up and say about an hour and a half per wing uh, to get that done. So I'll figure about three hours of work. Um, so it'll be relatively, you know, it's just a couple nights after work. I could probably pop downstairs uh, and get to work on those. Now I got the little servo covers done. And I also got the uh, little cockpit done. So that is already covered. Ready for several more coats of nitrate dope and paint. And somewhere, there's the front. And I haven't even tried to see if it fits in, so hopefully it fits in nicely. Because if it's a little... No, that'll be nice, even when I get the other part covered. I still have probably... Uh, it's 30 seconds of an inch of gap on the side, so we'll be good with that one. So uh, so anyway, that was a good day spent down here in the shop. So what I'm going to do, I think we'll probably just, I think I got enough content uh, to put together a video for this one. So, and I'll, I'll find out within the next few nights if I've got enough. Uh, if not, I'll come back down and go back to work again. So anyway, as of right now, let's call this a video and I'll see you guys next time. I'm back down in the shop.